They call me Nintendo Fangirl Cause I like to play lots of these things Cosplay games and me being super geeky Enjoying life and Nintendo and more So sit back, relax, and grab some mushrooms Here's the show Hi YouTube So this week, because there's not very much big gaming news I'd really like to talk about a topic that's been like On the tip of my tongue for the longest time But yeah and that topic is casual gaming versus hardcore gaming. So lately, whenever I hear talk about casual gaming or casual gamers, it's all so negative. Why the negativity? And Nintendo has definitely been taking the brunt of this. But casual gaming isn't just on the Wii. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. Casual gaming is the reason the PSN downloadable games and the Xbox Live Arcade exist. Not to mention things like browser games, tons of the games on Steam, PopCap. Arcade games. What really popularized gaming would mostly be considered casual now. Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong. And here's something I found that I thought was a little bit interesting. Nearly everybody I asked considered the arcade game Street Fighter 2 to be a hardcore game more than a casual game. Why? I find recently that hardcore gamers take such pride in being hardcore gamers, but they don't know what hardcore means. So let's take a brief moment to lay out these definitions here. <clears throat> Whether a game is hardcore or casual has little to no bearing on what system the game is on or what the game is about. Rather... Hardcore games show that you need a certain level of dedication to play that game. So it makes sense that RPGs and other games like that have a hardcore audience. Because it takes a long time to play them. So by this definition, Halo is a casual game. Now, by no means am I saying that because you play Halo, you are a casual gamer. No, that's not at all the point. But somebody who has never played Halo before can easily go over, pick it up, play for a few minutes to a few hours, and know what they're doing. And that's the definition of a casual game. A game that you can play casually. And then there's the people who play it for hours on end and they turn it into a hardcore game, which is also fine. It's a casual and a hardcore game. But how is that any different from Tetris? I really just need to reach out to the younger generation who seems to have missed this somewhere in the gap of ages or something that tell me that I am not a hardcore gamer because I play Mario and Zelda instead of Halo and Call of Duty. And really ignorance like that kind of just disgusts me and annoys me so that's why this video exists. Now I'm guilty of hating on casual games for one reason and one reason only. And that reason is it's often a lot easier to develop casual games than it is to develop hardcore games. And as a result the idea of casual gaming becoming really popular as of recently has kind of shown a decline in developers desire to make something a little better, especially for the Wii, which is the only reason that you'll ever hear me being angry over casual games. But, but I am trying to stop that. Faulting companies and peers and people for being casual gamers instead of hardcore gamers is dividing the gaming industry. Flat out dividing it. And that is not a good thing. Sometimes you just don't want to invest, you know, the next week or so in beating a game. You just want something quickly to stir up your little bored mind and have a little bit of jolly time. And that's why casual games are not a bad thing at all. And it's really, really dumb for people to say they are. And half of the hate against casual games and casual gamers is all over this weird hardcore sense of pride. I honestly do not completely understand it. I consider myself a hardcore gamer. I guess I'm proud of it. But I have no reason to hate somebody who only plays Be Fit or Bejeweled. So please, chill out with the casual hate. Okay guys, that's all I really had to say on this. If you haven't seen this kind of hate recently, then you're the lucky one, and I'm sorry that you had to listen to my little rant. Have a great week. Deku deku deku.